So it's great to see so many of you out here today marching with us for the right issues and to repeal the Eighth Amendment. I'm here from the Association for the Improvement of Maternity Services. We believe not only that abortion should be freely, safely and legally, legally accessible in Ireland under the maternity services provision, but also that the Eighth Amendment needs to be repealed because it affects women in continued pregnancy and birth as well. It's not an area that we talk about much, but nonetheless it's one that affects every person in Ireland with a womb, whether you want to continue your pregnancy or you don't. So I'm here talking, not only as a pregnant, Kate, I'm really pregnant. <laughs> I'm here talking not only as a pregnant person, but also as a parent and as a practical and ethical person. As a pregnant person, I'm here eight months pregnant. I was six months pregnant on the first March for Choice. That, uh, with a different pregnancy, I hate to <laughs> Different pregnancy, not like the longest gestation in all of history. I was six months pregnant from, on the first March for Choice. I'm eight months pregnant now. This pregnancy is one that risked my life. At 13 weeks gestation, I was diagnosed with pulmonary embolisms and nearly died. It was a really scary time, but I chose to continue because that was my choice. I chose to continue with the risk. I would support any other woman in not to making that risk, any other pregnant person in not make, making that risk. Anyone who chooses. <laughs> Anyone who chooses to not face the continued risk to their own health, to not face the continued risk to their existing family, to not want to continue to inject themselves on a daily basis with really annoying injections, um, should be met with the same sympathy, support and access to medical care that I have been in my choice to continue. <laughs> I'm also here as a pregnant person because as I've said, the Eighth Amendment affects our rights in continued pregnancy as well. Most of you probably won't know this, but the HSC National Consent Policy specifically excludes pregnant women from the right to be the final arbiters over what happens to their own body, specifically because of the Eighth Amendment. I do not regain my ability to think logically and to make my own decisions when I give birth. I'm still I am able to make my own decisions in my own healthcare right now this minute, but Ireland will not allow me to do that should they judge that my decisions come into conflict with the rights of my fetus. I am going to be the parent to this child when it's born. I am going to be the one making the say for my own body and for my child when it's born. Why am I not the one making those decisions now? <laughs> This isn't a theoretical issue either. In 2013, a woman, Mother A, was taken to the High Court in Waterford in an attempt to force her into a C-section. A C-section that she'd asked to be delayed for 24 hours in a non-emergency situation because her partner was out of the country and she wanted him to be there for the birth of their child. And they took her to the High Court. That's how little we trust women. The Eighth Amendment needs repeal. Women need to own their own bodies. Women and other pregnant people need to own their own bodies. It needs to be recognised that I can make my own decisions, not in choosing to end or choosing to continue my pregnancy, but in choosing where and how I want to give birth. Where and how and when I want to give birth. I make those choices, not the High Court, not the Supreme Court, not the crowd behind us in Leinster House, not my politician down the road, me. And I'm here as a parent, I'm here as a parent to one daughter who's growing another. And I will not allow another 30 years to go by so that she can be standing on this stage making the same speeches that have been made year on year. More and more women suffering, more and more women dying, more and more women being coerced into medical procedures that they don't want, more and more women being denied medical procedures that they do want.
For the safety of all those capable of getting pregnant in Ireland, the Eighth Amendment needs to go, and it needs to go now. We need the ownership of our own bodies returned into our own hands. The Eighth Amendment needs to go. Thank you. Today.